In January this year, we as Wapco Americas made a public commitment to the industry to be our customer's partner in uptime. Here you will see how we initially got our customer back on the road, which is always the priority number one, and then address the issue in a systemic manner. It includes all the teams and employees that participated to bring a customer-focused solution and positive results. This was an air dryer quality issue, which we experienced in the field under special conditions. We come into the story as the communication tool that Wabco uses to the field. And by the field, we're talking about dealerships, workshops, end users. First signs of a problem with the dryers, we started having the agents escalate up to me um, several calls about these dryers. The customers would say, you know, I pulled it in the shop overnight and when I, when I came in this morning, um, everything works fine. I'm confused. It was odd to hear about dryers or trucks freezing up, not building air. It was winter time. So after you get one, we all sit together and we all work together as a team. And within a week it was, hey, we got trucks freezing up. So we immediately threw up the red flag to let the quality team and the service teams know. So this issue came to us a couple of ways actually. Um, you know, we had uh, some rumblings from the call center and all of a sudden we started getting a, several calls and a bunch of emails from some of our customers in the field saying that they think they have an issue, they think it's related to this air dryer. We started by pulling all the call center data we could and we got uh, Daryl from Quality involved and we got engineering involved pretty quick. So we received a call from the call center that there was a new failure mode with the air dryer. So we immediately had them ship one of the failed units into the CIC to have it investigated. At the same time, we got the field service team involved to look at the vehicle to see if there was something unique there as we thought about vehicle uptime. The solution uh, required quite a bit of engineering work, uh, quite a bit of investigations, uh, multiple DOE, and then we started to do deep dive. Uh, the deep dive would happen with engineering. So when we when we finally determined that water was getting past the turbo cutoff valve, we, we did a really in-depth analysis of that valve, uh, all, the comp all the dimensions involved with it, all of the individual components. I performed all the testing for uh, all the changes made on the turbo cutoff valve. Once I had good data to report to the engineer, put together a test report and submitted it to the engineers. The next phase was how quickly can we change production so we don't make any more vehicles that could have the problem. And then it was how do we find a faster repair solution. Uh, we immediately had to update the care center team so that they were able to appropriately diagnose these uh, failures when the customers called in. Once we notified service, we notified quality, they determined at least what was wrong, let's put a mitigation plan in place. They came back with, let's replace dryers with a different version of a dryer, you know, instead of the same. So we changed our repair direction, let the whole team know, and then moving forward, it wasn't, hey, we have another frozen dryer. It was, hey, pull the trigger, replace it with this other part number and the truck was back on the road. Every step of the way, we were trying to figure out how to keep the vehicles up and running. So as we root caused the problem, we initially had to figure out how to keep the existing vehicles that were failing up and on the road and usable. This was only one example of our commitment to our customer. As you saw, every team that was part of that video was able to support our customers by being a partner in uptime. Thank you for watching.